Having multiple owners in an investment partnership can be confusing. And according to the Money Store Loan Officer, Marianne Caprino, there are some important factors to take into consideration. Hello, I'm here overlooking the city of Ventura and I'm here with Marianne Caprino. She is a loan officer from the Money Store. Mm -hmm. And uh, so a, lo a lot of the clients that I work with end up getting into uh, real estate with, uh, with a family member or a small partnership. Mm -hmm. It might be a parent, a sibling. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, so what happens when you have multiple owners of a property and how does that affect getting the loan? Okay, it can, it can definitely help getting the loan if, if the, maybe one person can't get it on their own. Um, but you know, credit is looked at the same, so they're all gonna need to have decent credit okay otherwise if somebody doesn't it's going to affect the interest rate on that loan um, so you want to make sure that that you know that they have that they have good credit they don't have a lot of debt okay um, and they also want to make sure that let's say two of them are living in the home and two of them are not okay and those two that aren't living in the home maybe they want to purchase another property later on somewhere else that could affect it now, what if, what if you had one uh, person that you knew was going to be a liability? Could you just decide not to, to have them on this loan? Yeah, just... you might want to do that because it might what? affect it. Now, even if they continue to be part of the ownership, did they have to be completely removed? Or how do you know okay. whether all the owners of a, of a property are applying for the loan? Well, they're all going to be on, on the loan. And then are they going to be on title? Okay, so those are the questions that we need to come up with. But if they're on the loan, and they are on that the whole that whole deal is looked at as a whole with those four individuals. Let's it's, say we're on the title. So whoever's on the title, all of those people are need to be um, part of the loan. No, no, you don't have to have them on title. Believe it or not. Okay? okay, so you can say whoever you want on title. You can have the people on the loan, and then you can you can say they can be on title. They don't have to be on title. It doesn't matter. Okay, mm -hmm. so um, but I have I have certain comp, you know certain people I deal with that dad's not on is on the loan but he's not on the title. Okay. Okay. So the, but the loan's the big one. All right. <laughs> okay. You got to be able to pay that, and that's the that's what we look at. So that could affect your credit. It also affects your buying power for something else. So I have people who who come in and, and they can't qualify by themselves, and they want a parent to go on. Okay, and so that parent goes on the loan and then all of a sudden rates come down and they want to refinance their own personal house. That's a problem. Okay, because very good. Because sometimes yeah. they can't qualify for the income for both because of the amount of money that they're, they're obligated for the other loan. Sounds okay. like a Jenga puzzle when you pull one piece, another piece moves exactly. around and all that. So, so if, gotta lot, be careful. A lot to be careful of. And so if you'd like to have Marianne help you out with that process or know more about that, please let me know. I will put you in contact with her. Yep. Uh, thanks for this information. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.